Wow, partner, would you take a look at this cool tech world, this gear world? Man, this is gonna be a fun one to explore. I can't wait to dive into every nook. It looks like they're trapped in some force fields inside of a weird mech machine. Let's go get them. These guys again? You stupid dumb. Don't let get him, fucking piece of shit. Oh, look who it is. It's fuck face and shit ass. Hey, what You're the fuck? both fucked this time. We're not fucking around. Yeah, that's right. We're gonna fucking murder you. Yeah, you tell him. I am telling him. What the fuck are you doing? I'm gonna fight. I'm, I'm preparing myself to fight. Why are you being so quiet? Fuck you. I'm not being quiet. Suck my dick. That's it. I'm fucking murdering. I'm, I'm in murder mode. Glorcon commanded us to murder you. We are loyal to our DNA father. Sh everyone shut the fuck up. Attack. I'm gonna fucking kill you. Man, those Glorcon clones, bunch of idiots. I, I, no idea how they keep popping up wherever we are. No time to soak in the landscape. We gotta get these, these crystal creatures and then figure out a way how to get them into Glorcon's eyes. Partner, let's let's get these crystal creatures and get back to the telepod and find out what the hell boss wants us to do. Ha whoa, whoa, these gears. Whoa, we're on the gears. Anyways, like I was saying, uh, let's get the things. I don't know. Is this too? Am I talking too long? Gears. Oh, jeez. Here we Look go. Who thought they were gonna fucking get to the bottom of this. Not on our watch. Get him over here, you son of a bitch. Look what I see! A couple of the- Holy shit! 
Partner, we gotta grab the crystal babies. They're down over by the telepod. We gotta get them and let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> Surprised? It's me. That's right. I, you played right into my hands. You're a couple of fucking idiots. The bomb I planted in your telepod was never intended to kill you or the abstainers. I wanted you to merge the abstainers. You want to know why? Because of this. With this device, I'm going to be able to merge a bunch of worlds using, that's right, the power of the abstainers. Now with the crystal babies plugged into my device, they're connected to the other three abstainers. Here we go. <laughs> it worked! And this is just the start. A small machine and just a handful of worlds. My next machine is gonna include the power of your dogs, and it's gonna merge 87 worlds down to five massive ones, all in one fell swoop. Unfortunately, it's gonna kill the other three abstainers as well as your dogs in the process. What a shame. Oh, what a shame. Too bad you're trapped here with no way out, no food, no water, no telepod. All according to plan. And now that everything's all jumbled up, no one's gonna be able to help find you. Good luck, you shit fucks. Suck my little balls. Oh, God. Oh, jeez, partner. Now we're trapped with no place to go. We're basically like Tom Hanks and Castaway. You know, we're gonna have to live the rest of our lives here. I mean, this is it. Glorcon won. This is horrible. I mean, you know, we gotta focus on survival now. We got we we gotta just let everything. Forget about the dogs. Forget about you know trying to stop Glorcon. It's Tom Hanks style now from Castaway. You ever see that movie? I mean, you should check it out real quick, and then come back. So we we're gonna have to deal with this. I mean, this we're, we gotta start figuring out where we're gonna get food. We we should start trying to build shelter. Excuse me, we need some help here. Hey, hey, uh, what's, what's going on? Uh, boss sent me out here and said there was some commotion going on, so I came in my Z telepod. Have you heard of one of those? Of course you haven't. It's my fucking telepod. It's the newest telepod. I just cleaned it outside, inside. I fucking love that telepod. Uh, it's just over there. The commotion you're talking about is just right around the corner. All right, cool. I'm going to solve this mystery. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I'm Pink Trover. There's going to be a whole spinoff of me on this game. I got a story, too. I'm Pink. I'm awesome, and I'm gonna figure this shit out. Nobody's gonna fuck with me. I'm Pink Trover, bitch. That pink fucking version of me, there's a lot of us, has a fucking telepod. You heard him? It's right around the corner. Let's go, hurry. It's our only way out of here. I don't wanna be fucking trapped here for the rest of my life. Oh my God, that poor Pink Trover. What an idiot. What a dummy. Holy shit! But also, wow, this is a really nice fancy telepod. I mean, better than that garbage we've been using this whole time. I mean, it's got different- it's different colors. I think this is a T-8000 model, wow! It's got all kinds of doodads in here. I mean, it looks pretty much the same, but, I mean, there's all kinds of doodads in it. Pink Trover, what, what did you find out? Oh, it's you two. I must have misdialed. Trover, Cherorpion. Things are looking very grim. Several wor worlds have been merged. Your dogs and the abstainers are going to be killed. I can't get a hold of the abstainers. Glorcon's blocked access to their inner sanctum. Telepod is blocked from going there too. Come to my office. Hurry. I I'll brief you there on what the next steps are, but this shit is all totally changed. Shit's all fucked up. It's unpredictable. Everything just took a giant left turn. I'll see you at my office. We fucking played right into Glorcon's hands. We're, we're we're, we're, we're fucking idiots! He's a, he, we thought he was so stupid, he's a fucking genius! He played us like a fiddle! And now he's got control of the abstainers? And, and he's, and he's, um... And he's got the crystal babies! We need those fucking crystal babies, you know? And, and he's got your dog still? We haven't really done anything, we haven't done much of anything, I mean... This might as well be the beginning of the video game! I mean, we might as well have started the video game, like, right here, narratively! Because that's basically where we're at! 
we're basically at the fucking be beginning, aside from all the fucking, you know, narrative story arc with between you and me and like, you know, our friendship and all that stuff. I mean, we may as well, this may as well be the boot up screen for the game right now. Because we're fucking back to square zero. This is fucked. Jesus Christ, what the fuck are we gonna do? Shit, I didn't see this coming. D did you see this coming? Yes or no? Come on. Nod your little fucking peanut head. Did you see this shit coming or not? Oh, really? You, you, you saw this coming? Yeah, I, I, I find that very highly unlikely. You fucking lying little peanut head. Now let's get the fuck out of here and figure this shit out. Trover, Chair Orpion, what took you so long to get back here? What were you, playing with your ding-dong? Yes or no? Ah, uh, you were playing with your ding-dong. That's good. It's healthy, it's natural, it's hot, it's sexy, and it's gonna help prepare you with what I have to tell you right now. A bunch of worlds are all destroyed. You know, th th this device is being powered by the abstainers through the crystal babies. All right, y boss, w w what do the abstainers say? I mean, w w what do the abstainers want us to do? We've lost all contact with the abstainers, Trover. The last thing they said to me was the Glorcon was planning to blow up a bunch of planets in the Tarvo galaxy, which is admittedly very, very far away and fairly inconsequential to us, but still, it's it's just a bunch of crazy bullshit. Wait a minute, so all, all he was gonna do was just merge a handful of worlds together? That's a big deal, Trover. This motherfucker merged a bunch of worlds together, and uh, quite frankly, we don't know if he's gonna do it again. I think he probably will. Well, Jesus Christ, what the fuck are we gonna do? This guy's this guy played us! That's right, Trover, he played you. I, I've been busy playing cards. Now shut the fuck up. L listen to me, I have a plan. We still have the coordinates to Glorcon's home planet. That's where he's keeping his world merging device. That's where his secret base is, and that's where the crystal babies are. The only problem is the planet is being shielded by a giant, impenetrable force field. All we have to do is shut down the force field. It's easy. Well, how do we do that? What, what the fuck? What, what are we supposed to do? Trevor, we gotta blow up Mixed World. Mixed World is powering Gorkon's force field around his secret base planet. You, wanna, you want us to blow up a planet? A bunch of planets that are merged together? Are you fucking serious? You, you hear Trevor, yourself? I don't want to hear any more of this out of you. Cherorpian, do you think you're up for this? Oh, yeah, confident, huh? Real confident. You better be. And quit trying to play with your little ding-dong. This is serious. We gotta save the... this localized area of the cosmos. And you're sitting there trying to play with your little ding-dong in here. Anyway, Glorcon just destroyed a handful of worlds, merging them together, and he created one giant mixed world. That's a problem. He's also gonna kill your dogs, Cherorpian. And the abstainers are gonna die too. I mean, is that enough stakes for us? I mean, you got all that, Trover? You following along here? Yeah, yes, yes, okay, we got it. Okay, on this mixed world, there's a bomb planting site. You're gonna need to plant a bomb in that receptacle. Where the fuck are we, where's this bomb you're talking about? Where, where, where? I'm getting to that, Trover, goddammit, if you let me fucking finish my conversation. In order to get the bomb, you're gonna need to go talk to my good friend, one of the funniest guys I know, comedy guy. He's my best friend, one of my best friends, and he also happens to be a bomb expert. And, and he'll tell some hilarious jokes, He'll lift your spirits. His name is Comedy Guy. He has the bomb. So just whenever you're ready, go ahead and press the button on the telepod and it'll take you to Comedy Guy. And then from there, you'll go to Mixed World. Jesus Christ, what a hot mess. Partner, come on, hit the button. Let's go to Comedy Guy and get this bomb. Maybe we'll hear some jokes. I don't know. Man, this is a bunch of bullshit. I can't believe Glorcon played us like he did. And, and all this shit would have happened whether I had been with you or not. I, I, I could have been doing my own thing this whole time, you know? I, mean, I stuck around with you for what? And, and now we gotta blow up a planet? I mean, Jesus Christ. That sounds like what bad guys do, blowing up planets. Uh, all right, look, let's just check out Comedy Guy's routine, get the bomb, and then go blow up this entire planet. You've seen his light-hearted comedy on Flame Shack. No, you know him from his silly, family-friendly prop comedy masterpiece, Floppy Props. And he's been a regular on David Letterman for years. Let's give a warm round of applause to Comedy Guy! Oh my God! He hung himself! You know, he, he always joked about it, but I just thought he was doing a bit. Jeez, do you know how fucking hard this has been for me and, and now I have to deal with this? What, what, what am I, the, the guy from 127 Hours? Did you see that movie? 
The guy got the shaft. Big rock fell on his arm. This is 127 hours plus an extra hour. 128 hours of me getting screwed. We were supposed. Holy shit, it's the bomb! There it is! There's the freaking bomb! L let's get it and get the hell out of here! Oh my god, you know, th this isn't my fight! I, di I didn't start this shit! I, I, I feel like Elian Gonzalez right now, remember him? He rode on dolphins and he was involved in a huge international custody battle, remember that? The kid was put through the fucking ringer for doing nothing! All he did was ride some dolphins! You know, this is bullshit! The bomb's right there, just pick it up, just grab it. This isn't my war. Fuck this. I just wanted to get high off of some power babies. And and, and now this? I'm like Swan D over here. The, you, you know, the, the, the guy that was arrested for a little too much pep in his step? The guy did jack shit, he just skipped across the street. This is bullshit, his name was Swan Z. Look, partner, I, I don't know how to say this, but I can't do this anymore, okay? W once we blow up this planet, I'm, 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 I'm striking out. I'm getting the fuck out. I I'm not going to Glorkon Superbase. I, 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 lo I care about you, and, 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 and I really, I want you to succeed, and I think you will, but, but you're doing it without me, because he probably just ripped my fucking head off. Are you kidding? He, he you saw what he did. He played us. And I'll help you and we're gonna do this last thing together and then it's bon voyage for me You know, we'll, we'll, we'll watch this place blow up from space and I'm gonna go to empty peepers and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna hire a couple of hookers. Listen. I'm sorry partner uh, are, are, are you cool with this? Is this okay with you? You understand, right? Yeah, I mean uh, I figured you'd say that partner So that's why I've really grown to care about you, you know? And, uh, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I, I, I got to. I just got to. I mean, I got to get the fuck out of here, you know? But we'll do your thing. We'll, we'll blow this place up, and then you'll, you'll probably get reassigned a new partner. All right, partner. W one last level, you and me, for, for old time's sake, huh? Oh, my God. Your world's one of the worlds that got mixed up. Now I feel really bad that I'm leaving you behind, partner, but I gotta do what's right for me, you know? I, I'm i pretty sure you'll get through this whole thing with or without me, you know? Who needs me, right? I, I, I was never important to this whole thing anyways. What are you thinking about right now? I don't know, I'm just thinking about, uh, how much I like this world. It's all mixed up. That's not what you were really thinking about. I could tell. You're lying to me. No, I'm not. I'm telling the truth. I was thinking about how I like this- I'm coming after you. You two might show up. He said we would kill you. He left the killing to us. We're gonna fucking murder you. You son of a bitch! Let's move. You, you know, you know, you're gonna be fine without me. You know, I know Boss will partner you up with the new eye hole monster. You know, they're, they're Schlober. Oh, wonderful! Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here, we're gonna take. We're gonna make sure that you guys don't get any further in this. You know, whatever the fuck you're trying to do. That's it, motherfucker.
Okay, let's go. That's, that's gotta be it. Anyways, like I was saying, you know, they're Schlover, the trans uh, uh, eyehole monster, voiced by an actual trans person. No, no, uh, no, f no, f no messing around there. There's other eyehole monsters. M remember the pink eyehole monster we saw when Gorkon merged all the worlds together? You know, there, there, there's Dover. He, he, he's, uh, he's green colored. He, he's an eyehole monster. The guy, the guy's great. He's amazing. He's a karate expert, but guess what? Big twist. He's Irish. Also voiced by an actual authentic Irish person. I'm very proud of that. Um, Boss could also potentially partner you up with Lover, who's uh, a lot like me, but African-American and funny and witty and has all these great commentaries and a whole different perspective on, you know, everything. Really good character. Voiced by a white person, though. Just want to give you a heads up there. That one was whitewashed. I do apologize for that. But anyways, the point is, you're going to get partnered with a whole new eyehole monster and you're the real important thing not not me uh, you know are you kidding me uh. all right so but anyways the point is you're gonna get partnered with a whole new eyehole monster and you're the real important thing not not me uh, you know i'm not important I gotta tell you, man, I feel horrible. You know, I feel horrible about, about not coming through for you on this, but you know I'm gonna walk into that Glorcon base and the guy's probably just gonna pick me up and rip my head off, throw it across the room. He'd probably kill you too, you know? I'm telling you, man, we gotta just stick together and let's just call this whole thing off. Here's what we should do. After we're done blowing this place up... Wait, ho hold, hold on a second. <laughs> A bunch of bullshit. All right, partner, you got this. You've there for a week. Well, look out! You guys are dead. I spent the entire time I was stuck in there thinking about movie okay, idea. Okay, what the you fuck? You guys are dead. I'm super genetically modified clone. My armor makes me stronger, faster, and incapable of falling in love. At least, I thought I was. Coming this summer from Froppy Pictures is a story about a smoking hot blind mom who's helping this monster see that the only thing scarier than himself is not being in love. I love you, Martha. I love you too, Gary. Coming in this summer from Froppy Pictures. Blind monster, blonde mom. Fuck, I wish that was a real movie. When I was trapped in the cave, I created up that whole movie trailer idea. That's my original idea. And don't you try to steal it. I copyrighted it. I already wrote the letter that I self-addressed stamped to myself with my idea sealed inside. It's dated. You'll never steal my idea. Copyright people, I, I, I'm gonna keep that letter in my drawer. It's guaranteed to tug on your heartstrings, that movie. It's a real emotional love story. It's about a blind mom, and she's really attractive. But And then there's, and then there's a monster character who gets her to fall in love. It's a lot like that movie, uh, you know, Toxic Avenger. Uh, except for she's a mom, and uh, and the monster is cool. The monster is, uh, is like me. I'm the mom. It's a lot like me. I would obviously cast myself as the part of the monster, and I direct it, write it, all that stuff. I'm a triple threat. No one can stop me. I'm a Hollywood torpedo. I'm gonna explode Hollywood when I get to the scene. You'll see me in all the cool clubs in Hollywood. Once I get big with my movie, the blockbuster masterpiece, my life, once this movie comes out, I'm gonna get a house in the hills in Hollywood. I'm gonna be a coastal elite. I'll be very rich. Probably have some kind of sex scandal. That's par for the course these days, isn't it? I'm a Glorcon clone with a dream. I'm making, mo mo I'm making movies, and they're all gonna be really touching, emotional love stories with a twist. And no one will ever stop me from doing my dreams. My movies are gonna be top grossing box office blockbusters. You guys are, well, what the hell? You're doing it, partner. We're having some fun together on this last level that we're gonna be together on. Cause I'm, I'm, I'm out of here after this. Can't make it, shit, partner. The thing we gotta plant the bomb into, it's across the lake. Fuck, there, there's gotta be some way over there. Oh my god! Jesus Christ, look at him! Look at those- What in that goddamn hell? How did those two get over here? Yeah, what the fuck? Uh, uh, we'll be very ashamed if, if we don't- if, if they find out that these two are, 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 are around these parts. We've got to murder them.
to jump me off the ledge. I don't want to be in any more buttholes, you know? So can, l there's got to be another way across the lake. I'm sure of it. Uh, maybe not. Maybe there's... Oh, son of a bitch! Ah! Hey!